हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल तो दिस इज़ दी सेकंड प्रैक्टिस ऑफ द ऑर्थोग्राफिक प्रोजेक्शन सी दिस इज़ द ऑब्जेक्ट तो बिफोर द स्टार्ट ऑफ ड्राइंग लेट्स रीड द डायमेंशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट तो फर्स्ट वन इज एरो तो इट मींस कि ऑब्जर्वर इज हियर तो दिस वन इज़ द फ्रंट व्यू ठीक है इफ दिस इज द फ्रंट व्यू अगर ऑब्जर्वर यहाँ पे है facing towards this side to so with respect to this observer this is left hand side view agar observer yahan pe hai to ye left hand side view hoga and this one is top view so let's read the dimensions of uh, first mm, this is 65 length 45 is the height of the object this height Yes, this is fifteen mm. Twenty five is for this height. Means this dimension is ten mm. This dimension is ten. This angle is not required here because this dimension is given here thirty five from here to here. Right. This dimension is fifteen. So. Out of thirty-five, this is fifteen. So this will be twenty mm. This is twenty mm. Now this dimension. Yes, this is given forty-five. And the thickness of this part is fifteen. Means this part is fifteen mm thick. So we will draw this in first angle of projection. Let's write the first angle of projection sequence first. In first angle of projection, this will be the front view, top view, and left side view will be prepared on right side. This is the sequence of view for first angle of projection. So if you'll see this object from the front, this portion will be visible to you from the front. This will be the front view. So let's start to draw now. This is sixty-five, forty-five. This dimension is fifteen. This dimension is also fifteen. Now you can draw a line. we can draw horizontal line from here it will intersect here now this dimension is 20 and this dimension is 10 so this is the front view of the object let's draw here before this uh, start of drawing first you have to manage the space here we will draw the front view Here top view and here left side view of the object. So let's draw first sixty five. This is sixty five. You have to measure this with scale. And then height forty five. Now this side is fifteen and ten. Ten and fifteen. Here I have marked one point. Fifteen. And this is ten. Now this side, this line, this line is again fifteen. The total height is forty-five. Here we'll leave fifteen mm. 
this line is 45 minus 15 30 next this part this dimension we have calculated 20 mm side by side you can prepare your drawing you can pause the video and you can just prepare the drawing because until or unless you will not prepare it manually you will not get it and also note down the time that how much time you are taking to prepare this drawing so now this is the front view of the object right now after the front view we will draw its top view so in the top view you can see you will see the surface this surface this will be visible from top view and this surface and this part is at center 45 this is 45 and this is 15 so remaining margin will be 30 divided by 2 45 minus 15 is 30 divided by 2 this side and this side right here yeah, sometimes the students are asking the question ki if it is unequal then how to write see if it is unequal then it will be mentioned here if it is not mentioned means this is at center both are equal so let's take the projection now we have projected the length of the object now take the projection of this wall also you can hold your pencil from here extreme end because it should be a continuous thin line right you can see here this is centimeter scale and this is a, a inches so here I'm not measuring this because already I have taken the projection. So there is no need to measure the length now. It will be exactly 65. See this one is 65. So here is was the observer. Now observer is here in the top view in this direction. So now from top view you will see this 45 mm dimension right like uh, this was the object's front view right 65 and height 45 now this one this was the front view now this is top view of the object so the length will remain same but now you can see the width of the object that is 45 These lines should be thick because it is constructing the object. Now this dimension is 15, 15 because total is 45 minus 15 divided by 2. This side, this side. So 15, 15 will be there. This is 15. Here also it is 15 and its length is equal to 20. So this projection is 20 mm. See with, if you will work with the projection there will be no mistake in your drawing. So always try to work with the projection. Now this part, so length of this part is from here to here, 
this is the true length the true length is not required simply we need the projected length from this point to this point because in the front view it is inclined like this but in the top view it will be a parallel to the reference line it will be just like a rectangle from top view two straight lines will be there simply here it is inclined and here it will be parallel to reference line this one because this part t1 and t2 is so t1 and t4 is just like rectangle so just remember the inclined part it will be visible in visible as inclined only in one view ek view mein inclined hai to baki ke views mein simply rectangle hoga so this is the top view of the object this is inclined surface in the front view you can see to isliye kehte hai ki minimum two number of views are required to explain the drawing now we will draw the side view so in this side view this part will be visible this part is again visible in side view 1 2 3 and 4 <coughs> this part will be visible from side view so simply we will take the projections now this is the projection of the base projection lines can touch the object and projections will be prepared from point to point so we have taken this projection base this is the third projection and this is the total height we'll take the same gap here so 16 mm So we will take the same gap here. So if you are using the drafter, then this line will be exactly vertical. And if you are using this grid sheet, then place your scale parallel to the dots. So now from the side view, this dimension is forty-five. So in previous lecture we have discussed ki if you are using the forty five degree angle line here, now this angle is forty five degree. You can simply turn the projection from here also, right? So now in this side view first this shape will draw this dimension is 15 15 it is 15 and this side also it is 15 i'll draw full height here now this is the inclined part and this is the base part which is flat you can now compare the side view this is this part 45 this is 15 15 10 
so we have taken this 10 mm with the help of projection so if you are using the projection there will be no mistake in your drawing these are the side surface side walls s3 and s4 s3 and s4 this is inclined surface here so only in one view it is inclined in rest of two views it will be a parallel to reference line so now let's do its dimensioning so for dimensioning first count the number of dimensions 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 number of dimensions are enough to explain this drawing so let's write these dimensions now you can use chain method and parallel method here to write the dimensions already thin line is there this is 15 mm dimension this one is 35 and this one is 65 parallel method of dimensioning you have to draw the arrowheads in 3 is to 1 ratio here the height of the letter should be 4 to 5 mm align style of dimensioning so we have covered 65 15 and 35 now let's write the height of the object so this is 15 25 and 45 15 this is the dimension line for 25 and this dimension line is for 45 15 25 and this is 45 right now let's see which dimension is missing here 15 25 45 now width of the object and this dimension 15 mm these two dimensions are missing so we'll write the dimension here or here also if you want you can write 15 and 45 and if you want you can also write here let's write the dimension here We can write it by parallel method of dimensioning. This gap of the dimension line from the object is 8 to 10 mm. Why it is 8 to 10 mm? Because basically it is twice of the height of the letter. So we are taking 4 to 5 mm height. This one is 15. You can see 15 should not be written here, it should be on the left side of dimension line. 45, it should be on left side of dimension line. Right, so this is the front, top and left side view of the object in first angle of projection. In case if you have any doubt or any question, you can post your comments. And please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.